Yo, what is up everybody? It is Prestige Your Man Luigi here with another Borderlands CP sequel legendary guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the support relay. The support relay is a Hyperion made legendary Oz kit or O2 kit. Its red text reads multi core life support. And for every person that has a support relay, it improves O2 or OZ, Oz capacity, by 25 and the consumption rate by 20%. So if you have a full party of four all wearing support relays, you're going to get some pretty good Oz capacity and uh, consumption rate slowing. So it also does provide extra gun damage for each unit of O2 that you have in your capacity. You can see at level 50, it's giving you a cool 0.16% increase. And with the Oz capacity being at 168, that becomes around 25% increased gun damage when you have a full Oz capacity, which is a significant amount of gun damage. It can come in any elements. I found Arctic and also I had to redo the mission. I've gotten it uh, electric. However, it wasn't called electric. It's called like shock probably. And it has a pretty good slam damage of 35k. It, I believe it's a it's a pretty alright Oz kit. I personally like the 3DD1.E is the best Oz kit in the game, in my opinion. That's one I really like. However, this is a pretty good one. I haven't paired I haven't had it with other people. And if you have it with other people, that gives you a lot more Oz capacity, which would give you even more than the 25% gun damage. Since say you have four people, that's another hundred, that's 268, it's about 270 Oz capacity, and about and 16% of that is increased to your gun damage percentage. So that's pretty great. I think it's an all right Oz kit. Like it's pretty easy to get since you get it off of a quest. You just fit, do the quest and then you get it. So I think it, it's a, so it's guaranteed to get. So with being a guaranteed quest item, I think it's pretty good. And that's about it for the details on the Oz kit. I'm going to show you how to get it, the quest, the quest you get it from, and kind of little tips to how to do that quest better. So enjoy. You will be finding this quest in Triton Flats near around near the top of the map, I would say. You, you can exit Concordia from Moxie's backdoor exit and you will be put right near where you're going to get it. So you're going to go over to this message board and get the message, mish, message mission two arms. You're going to get an old Russian, stereotypically Russian communistic uh, Papa Crust who's going to talk to you and he's going to tell you to go to the weapons drop. And once you get there, he's going to tell you that you need to get 50 common weapons and donate them to the cause. So you see, this is the mailbox. You're going to have to get 20 common weapons. I have a pretty good strategy for doing this. Uh, otherwise, just play through the game and get it. Your, get, get them as you play through the game. That is one way of doing it. However, this is another way. I would suggest waiting until you're level 50 and to do this. And once you're level 50, you're not going to be playing through the game to get commons. So here's a way to do it. So you're going to head to Virago Solitude and you're going to head past through all this. You're going to want to go to where you fight RK5 since, and oh, make sure you're in normal mode. You could have seen I changed to normal mode. Make sure you're in normal mode. You're going to get to the outfall pump station. Going to go see RK5, kill him really fast because he's level 26 and you're level 50. Again, do not do this mission if you're not level 50 because it takes way too much time and it's not worth it. So once you kill RK5, you're going to pick up all these uh, good common weapons that he drops. Good for this mission, I guess. Since he does drop a ton of common weapons and you can save and quit and spawn back right here and kill him again. So it's a really easy way to farm. You're only going to have to make that Virago Solitude run once. Since now you're going to exit your game and go back into True Vault Hunter mode and deposit your weapons. And that's how you're going to be grinding for these 50 weapons. Every time you want them, you want more common weapons, just go back into normal mode and you'll be you'll spawn right next to RK5. However, every time you get 10 common weapons in the cache, in the little vault uh, mailbox, he's going to send you on a mission to help out the cause and the PLA members. People's Liberation Army, I believe it is. So that'll range from getting boxes to handling disputes among other members to uh, killing people at their base, killing uh, enemies of the cause, I guess you would call it, at their base. So every time you get 10 extra, you're going to have to do one of these missions. And the missions are always set in stone. They're always the same thing. So don't worry about it being too bad since it's they're, they're pretty easy missions. It just mainly has to do with killing people and 
yeah, killing people is the general theme, and of these missions is the general theme, Borderlands. So it makes sense. So you'll get one at 10, you'll get one at 20, you'll get one at 30, and you'll get one at 40. So you're going to just run through all of these. You can see I'm on the one where you have to go kill other people and get their guns, which was the same as the previous mission, except the previous mission they were all on cars, and now they're just all on a base right before you get to Red Belly. That's the area they're at. So you can see I'm just going through all of it. It is pretty quick. I'm level 50, and I do have some pretty good gear, but... I think even if you don't have super good gear, you'll still be able to do a pretty good job of this. Uh, here you can see me, I'm going to investigate the disputes. You choose a guy, and then you have to defend him from the other two guys. Which, and you have to kill, because it's Borderlands, you gotta kill the guys. So that's kind of, that's gonna be how you get it. It's pretty, once you know how to get common weapons fast, which through the RK5 method, the rest of this goes pretty quickly. And the last mission you get, you just defend the arm spot, which is the place you keep dropping arms in. You're just going to defend that from a bunch of enemies. You have to kill all of the enemies. You can see here I'm about to put in the weapons, and I'm going to have to defend it. So once you defend it, then you put your last batch of commons in, and you'll be given... You'll finish the 50, which is you'll finish all the work to do with the two arms mission, and you're going to have to head to Concordia. Watch Pop Crust give you a good old speech about art. No, more about liberation, and then it's art. That's the kicker in this. And head over to the mission board, and you'll get yourself your support relay. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check out my other legendary guides if you are into this, since I do have a good amount of other legendary guides, and I will be continuing to make more. So if you want to see more, keep looking at my channel. That's basically it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.